it's time to go back down. Is the ace of Vegas, the ace of Vegas. Hey, it's Medicine Sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. Now, for today's video, we're actually going to take a good look at the Vidara Resort and Spa. You can barely see it here. Sorry, Vidara Hotel and Spa. I haven't actually done a walkthrough of this hotel before, so look forward to it. Let's get started. Okay, so this is the lobby. Looks like they have their own private M Life desk, which is pretty dope. And a lot of sit down places. There's a uh, Wi Fi in the lounge over here, and uh, plenty of places to get, uh, oh yeah, electricity, so if you need to chill, charge your phone, that's the way to do it. So let's go ahead and kind of start at the start of it. It's a smaller hotel. So they have a market cafe over here. Oh, very nice. If you're looking for something quick and casual, that's probably the best way to do it. It's a bit cheaper, and I think they also do the food service here. All right. Obviously, here on the corner, they have a Starbucks, so that's pretty uh, standard, too. And then they also have a tram to the Bellagio and Crystals in Park MGM. That's actually where our boy Pat stayed last time. But let's see the rest of the hotel first before we uh, go over to the tram. Also, they have the large center bar. This is the club lounge. So I think you're supposed to... If you're a guest, you're allowed to be here. And if not, then... I think it's like a cover or whatever. I think I know there's a lounge where it's only for guests, like the club level lounge or something like that, but I think this one's party, pretty standard. Oh, pardon me, man, I'm sorry. All right. Then check-in desk is over here. We bypassed the check-in because we went to VIP check-in. So that was pretty dope. Um, pretty good line, but it looks like they are all very professional over here, so that's a good time. Um, yeah, more lounge area. It's actually very pretty. Let's stop in there a little later on today and just see what else is going on. Also, rest of the hotel here. Edison Electric. And this is the conference room. I think I made a wrong turn here because this is the business center. So if I need to print things off, I can go here. Let's see. Yep. Definitely made a wrong turn here. But looks like they've got some pretty standard stuff in here too. All business center. Not much to the hotel. Okay, definitely went the wrong way. Let's go back to the trams. All right. And then the business center is over here. In case you need to print your itineraries and whatnot, I'll be using that momentarily to get my tickets. I also have the bell desk in the corner over here. So if you need to leave your bags, it's a good place to leave them. And then we just go ahead and go through. And we're back to the club lounge. It's also got an outdoor section, outdoor patio there, where you can get uh, mixed cocktails and things like that. I already got one from the pool. Hit up my boy Aldo and then my boy Mike over there. They're both great guys. Uh, don't forget to go ahead and shout them out next time you come down here. They usually work Mondays and Tuesdays. And I'm already through my first uh, 12 ounce cocktail, so the rest of the commentary here might get a little, a uh, little dodgy, guys. So I apologize. I don't think there's much else to the hotel. I'm sorry to say. So we'll go ahead and head out this way and wrap up the tour. Beautiful hallway, and I love the artwork. This is a true five star hotel. Like, Mandalay Bay apes a good five-star hotel, and it does pretty well. But this, this is truly five stars. And you can you can feel it everywhere on the wall. And I gotta admit, the experience has been great. The check-in experience has been great. Yeah, it's so pretty out here. So we'll take the walkway over to the tram. And I think to Bellagio and Park MGM. And then we can even enjoy the uh, Bellagio gardens there. So I look forward to that. I'm also, while I'm over at the Aria, I can see about getting my MGM rewards too. So I can get my, uh, get my buffet and also get my free play. So that'd be pretty dope. 
Gonna go ahead and see about saving some battery for that, guys. So on that bombshell, Ace of Vegas is signing out, wishing you all strong hands, and of course, happy spinning.